Hi guys, it's Jamie here. Today, using just a few of our digitals from our next main creator kit, which is called Tropical, I'm going to show you how to make this multi-pocket envelope from a paper bag. I purchased a bunch of these from Amazon. I might have even been about 50 of them initially with this project in mind, but you never know what else I might be able to do with them. Here, what I'm doing is I'm going into the paper bag and pushing out those seams and pinching the base of the bag outwards on that triangle point on both sides. Once I've managed to pull those two side seams out, I'm lining everything up along the seams and pressing it down, which as you can see has made the bag much wider looking. These paper bags are quite cheap and I was really struggling to get a wrinkle out on one side. And eventually I decided because it's a junk journal, perfect alignment is not necessary. Having given up on that, I'm now folding the long part of the bag in half so that it will fit and tuck neatly under the base of the bag. Once I was happy with my fold, I used my bone folder to sharpen up those new creases. Here I have my Versafine Vintage Sepia, which is similar to the Distress Ink Vintage Photo, but I find is a lot stronger and easier to deposit the colour on my edges. And I will be reopening the bag, turning everything around just so I can get to all of those edges. Once my edges have been inked because I have been turning it all around and inside out again, I am just bone foldering it all down back into place. I'm applying a thin layer of glue to both sides of that base, which will make a small secret tuck spot in this multi-pocket envelope. Off camera to save time and save your boredom factor, I have measured and cut down the printables to make panels for the paper bag multi-pocket envelope. I've also inked those edges and I'm using a good layer of glue stick to attach the panels. Before I secure the panel down completely, I'm just making sure that everything will turn. I'm using my bone folder again, this time to make sure that all those edges are caught and secure. You'll see that I have left a small border of brown so that my panels fit inside each section of the paper bag. This has the same visual effect as using a mount before framing a picture. Here's the paper bag multi pocket envelope with all the panels covered, with some of the digitals from the tropical main for August. All that's left to do is to use some of the ephemera that comes with the kit to create pockets and belly bands. This pocket is actually an off cut from one of the panels. Here where I resize some of the ephemera to be miniatures, I'm using a postcard to make a small pocket for holding a couple of the tropical stamps that come with the kit. For the larger off-cut pocket, I'm adding one of the tags and another one of the miniature sized postcards. Then I realised the pocket was actually deep enough to add one of the library cards as well. On the front belly band, I've got a journaling card made from scraps, a tag and a library card. Here you can see the secret tuck spot and a bit of off cut that I've made to fit inside it. On the back, I've added a whole row of the tickets as a side belly band. This little parrot journaling card is one I made from off cuts and there's enough room to add even more of the tags. From a previous make using our Timeless Treasures kit, I do have some battered up old looking printables that were surplus to requirements. Therefore, I've decided to add some of the fussy cuts. 
which I think is giving them a bit of a pirate-themed buried treasure document, especially when you see where I'm going to hide them. I'm actually using the fact it's a paper bag to hide those documents. And here it is, our paper bag multi-pocket envelope, which actually has two secret plate hiding places and lots of belly bands and pockets for intrigue. I think this can be used either as a large pocket stuffer in the Tropical Journal or as flat mail. These beautiful digitals from Emma with additional printable bonuses from CERN, a design team presenting their ideas and more tutorials that are exclusive to those that purchase the Tropical Main Creator Club. The link to look at the further details is in the video description. Thank you for your time today and I will see you with another tutorial very, very soon.